am a woman. And I love craft beer. Thank you very much. I love to drink it, and I love to brew it at home. Now, I haven't always loved craft beer. I did the wine thing for a long time, but I went to a few tastings, and I was hooked. But the number of girlfriends I had that drank beer, let alone craft beer, was pretty small. I became so passionate about it, I knew that just if given the right settings and opportunities, they would really be into it too. So through social media, I found out about a number of groups around the country that were forming for women to enjoy craft beer and learn more about it. I love building community and bringing people together, so I said, I can do that. So I founded the Arizona chapter of Girls Pint Out. Now, why do we need a group dedicated to women drinking beer? Well, I think, I think over time, we lost a little bit of ourselves along the way. So if we take a look at history, 38,000 years ago, Sumerians discovered beer. Women practiced and refined the art of brewing. In fact, they used to pray to Ninkasi, the goddess of beer and brewing, to remember their recipe. We also know that in the Middle Ages, women were the primary brewers of beer. Um, tax records show us that in English villages, um, they were the large-scale brewers of the time. Now, something happened over time where it was decided that beer needed to come from a trustworthy source, and women were not. <laughs> so according to official records, men became listed as the brewers, even though they would admit nothing changed, and women still knew more about it than they did. So, through Industrial Revolution, um, those classification systems, disproportionate property rights, they stayed with us. And when brewing moved to large-scale production, um, those same classification systems stayed in businesses and, and things owned by men. Now, there were cultural shifts, too, because those beer gardens that were family-friendly and outdoors, well, drinking moved into bars and saloons, which were bawdy and dim. Now, of course, prohibition, it killed the production of beer altogether. Alcohol was campaigned against as the blight against the industrial society that we were gonna become, Cam really campaigns that demonized alcohol. Now, of course, prohibition ended, uh, large-scale production resumed, but the kind of beer that came out then that prevailed was what would appeal to the majority, inoffensive, and some would say without taste. Now, few commercial breweries seemed to care that women didn't want their product. Um, beer advertising became targeted to men. In fact, a lot of times, women are portrayed as keeping men away from drinking a beer. Then, of course, there's the classic sex sells strategy, promising lots of girls in bikinis to men who drink their beer. Now, I'm not here to say what's right or wrong, but I am not attracted to anything that objectifies women. I would say just brew better beer. So thanks to the, once homebrewing was legal in 1979, those homebrewers rediscovered the art of brewing. Now what is it about craft beer exactly? Craft beer is passion. It is the hand choosing of each recipe and each ingredient that makes every beer unique and connected to that brewer and that brewery. And there's so many connections to be made. Let's say you tried 10 stouts from 10 different breweries. Each would be completely different and unique because they chose different ingredients, different malts and hops and yeast. There's so much to explore. Now, I will admit, women have a little bit of advantage in exploring. Uh, we have been found to have a more sensitive palate. In fact, a lot of breweries rely on women as their lead taste testers to test their products. So the good news is that we are gaining presence in the industry. According to Beer Business Daily, Kim Jordan of New Belgium Brewing is the ninth most powerful person in the whole industry. And Denise Jones of Moylands, she left an established career to become an award-winning brewmaster. Our presence in the beer culture is growing too. More and more groups exist to help to foster and promote women's enjoyment of beer. There's so much to experience, so many horizons to explore. There's just a big world out there. So what is it that you all can do? Well, I think all of us could stand to open our minds a little bit about women and beer. And you women out there, if you're interested, check out Arizona Girls Pint Out or a group like us. We would love to toast with you. Cheers. Thank you.